on the bottom of your, of your phone there or your iPad. All right, so let's talk about um, a couple of things that you would tell a, a young swimmer about swimming um, to do or to, you know, just two of the main things that you would go, you know what, if I knew this when I was six or eight or 10, you know, I would love to know it. So let's start with Bruce first. Uh, um, well, I think uh, I would tell any of them is to try to become a better student of the sport. Uh, I really believe that the more they understand about technique, uh, the more they understand about their training and not just go through the motions, but why, why are they doing something? What are they getting out of it? Obviously, the more motivated they will be to do it correctly. And, and I just think becoming a better student of the sport is going to take them a lot further. Okay. Lisa? Um, I think for sure you've got to just have fun with it and definitely um, enjoy the process because obviously it takes a lot of time. There's a huge commitment and sacrifice involved, but you have to be able to enjoy that and take fun from the sacrifice and commitment that you're giving to the sport because it'll take you a lot of great places. So, Claire? <laughs> um, well, Lisa, you stole mine, but... Um, <laughs> that's not, yeah, that's not fair. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, but um, I think, you know, having, um, like she said, having fun with the sport is huge because especially the older you get and the more you get into anything, um, things get hard, um, you know, with swimming, you don't, there's times when you don't get better, you're not improving. Um, there's definitely those down times. Um, and I think a lot of people forget why they started swimming or why, um, you know, why they're there in the first place. And um, for me, you know, I think stepping back uh, the last, uh, you know, four or five years, the thing that's uh, been biggest for me is stepping back and just enjoying it all, taking it all in. You know, we get, for us, we get to travel uh, all over the country. But, you know, even when we were younger, we got to travel as a team. And just that alone was so much fun and, um, and you know, being uh, a part of something so special um, like a team to, to be able to bond and, um, and experience that hard work together, I think is, um, is something people take for granted for sure. Um, and I think so, so my advice would be to just kind of take it all in, enjoy it, you know, enjoy those hard practices um, you know, enjoy, uh, even though it might be hard, <laughs> um, enjoy, you know, every aspect of it. Okay. So that's, that's great stuff. Let's talk about training really quickly. Um, you know, when you're, you're younger, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you really need to build a base, uh, as well as, as beautiful stroke technique, uh, like coach is saying, how has it changed from junior high, high school, college, and now that you guys are pros, what are the, some of the big differences in, in your training? And can you skip a day or is it just on and on and on? Go ahead, Claire. Um, well, I can tell you this. In the last 